breaking news. Female soldier was adopted, stripped naked, tortured by IPOP members. Not yet rescued, Nigerian army. I know, I know this must surely come to play out. That the next thing we are going to hear is IPOP members. You see the reason why these people are not getting any, any success in the fight of this insecurity in Nigeria? These people, they don't, they don't investigate. Somebody was adopted. How You have not even seen the person. You have not rescued the person. Now you have concluded they are IPOP agitators. In fact, anything that happens in, in the Southeast now is IPOP. Look at what is going on. The unknown gunmen came from nowhere. And Nigerian government, they know how this unknown government came about. They are not terrorizing the Southeast. Whatever they do, IPOP agitators, IPOP stroke ESN. Okay, look at this very story now. You have not even seen the person. How do you not know that the person is a IPOP agitator? Now, the people that adopted him, they are IPOP agitators. A military signal on Thursday had earlier said security agents had rescued the female soldier. They said no, they never rescued the person. The Nigerian Army says a female lieutenant, P.P. Johnson, adopted by unknown gunmen, terrorizing the southeast part of the country, is yet to be rescued. A military signal on Thursday had earlier said security agents had rescued the female soldier. According to the signal, the mastermind of the kidnap was also arrested. At about 2.20 p.m. on December 29, 2022, security forces rescued Lieutenant P.P. Johnson, who was adopted by gunmen and taken to a forest bordering Enugu State and Iepu in Okigwe local government area, Imo State. On December 26, 2022, the military signal had read, the mastermind of the kidnap has also been arrested by security forces. Why efforts are all going to arrest others? The situation is still being monitored at the moment, video attached. However, the spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Onyama Nwachiku, said in a release on Friday obtained by Sahara reporters that the female lieutenant had not been rescued, as earlier claimed. He also accused the indigenous people of Biafra of being behind the abduction. The statements read, The attention of the Nigerian army, N.A., has been drawn to some publications circulating in the social media, insinuating the rescue of Lieutenant P.P. Johnson, a female officer who was adopted on Monday 26 December 2022 while visiting her grandmother in Aku. Kigwe in Imo State. Shortly after completion of uh, cadet training and subsequent commissioning as a lieutenant into the Nigerian Army, a video footage of her abduction had emerged in the social media where her adopters claimed her abduction was in line with their fights for Biafra against the Nigerian state. It is instructive that the officer's circumstances as a woman and a Nigerian citizen of Southeastern extraction did not dissuade her adopters from dehumanizing her in their mindless attempts to commit atrocities under the guise of fighting for Biafra. This evidently is another pointer to the merit of crimes being unleashed by IPOP ESN on Igbo. The very people they claim to be fighting for their emancipation. It should therefore be crystal clear to those who are still in doubt of the true status of these groups that IPOP ESN are terrorists masquerading as freedom fighters and do not deserve the support of anyone, particularly the good people of the Southeast Nigeria. The Nigerian Army wishes to state that the information making the rounds in all substantiated as the officer is yet to be released, I beg your pardon, or rescued from her adopters. Likewise, the video footage being circulated and associated with the rescue claim is an old video of the arrest of a suspect earlier affected by troops. 
much as we appreciate the concern and goodwill of the general public for her safe rescue, we also wish to note that the information on the rescue of the officer did not emanate from the army. The Nigerian army will leave no stone untouched in its efforts to rescue the officer and bring the perpetrators to book. We appeal to the general public to provide credible and reliable inf information that could lead to her safe rescue and arrest the perpetrators. A training video had shown the female officer being tortured by the gunman after she was adopted in her hometown. She was said to have traveled to her hometown for the Christmas season. She was just confirmed with the rank of Lieutenant in the Nigerian Army. She passed out on December 17th after being commissioned from the District Short Service Course, a military source had said. She was kidnapped at her home in Ebube. She traveled home for the Christmas celebration. In the clip obtained by Sahara reporters, one of the unknown gunmen was held threatening to kill the officer for being a member of the Nigerian Army. He also warned youth against joining the military and other country agent, uh, security agencies. The officer was stripped naked and her hands and legs were tied. She was seated on the ground in a bushy area. Hmm. IPOP is non-violent freedom movement. Any one organization trying to indict them will fail. Yakata. God bless IPOP. God bless ESN. God bless Mazi in Namdekano. Someone said, This sad update has broken my soul. Please, Lord, watch over your daughter. Female soldier was adopted, stripped naked, tortured by Nigerian army. Hmm. The gunmen in the viral video specifically said that they are not IPOP members. Why the black may now? That is the question. I'm dropping it here, guys. Can you